Hello, my lovely viewers, and welcome to Sheepy Nature, where I, Sheepy, ramble and improv about the local Arizona flora and fauna in a weird little voice. This is mostly filler, but you will find some interesting anecdotes about myself and may listen to the relaxing sound of my voice as it lulls you into a quiet slumber nestled into the loving bosom of Mother Nature. <coughs> Excuse me. We have found our subjects for today. This evil little creature is known as a tarantula hawk wasp. It was given that name because they were brought forth onto this planet by the unholy fusion of a tarantula and a hawk, and not at all because they hunt and kill tarantulas. You fool. You absolute buffoon. They are known for their incredible senses of humour, poor taste in music, and having the second most painful insect sting on the planet. Losers. My brother had the privilege of experiencing this sting when he grabbed one, mistaking their sexy amber wings for that of a harmless butterfly. He screamed for a whole minute. Unfortunately, nobody else was outside at the moment. We were all occupied with some other form of tomfoolery, and he was left to process the emotional betrayal and utter disillusionment of how a butterfly could have possibly harmed him so on his own. He did this by crying for a whole hour. Brother, is there anything you would like to add about your experience? Why are you talking in that weird British voice? Why are you talking in that weird pubescent voice? Why are you talking in that weird jerk voice? Hmm, touche. Is there anything you would like to say about the tarantula hawk wasp? Uh... Ah, short and sweet, just like you, I like it. That will be all, goodbye. Now, let me reenact their immortal life cycle for you. These are what I'll be using for the dramatic reenaction, but most of them are just um, plastic bugs I had earlier that I just recolored, like that one. Anyway, I'm not sure if they'll give the right effect I'm trying to bring, so um, it's time for a little prop test. Ah! <laughs> oh, it's realistic. I should do a doll customization channel, it's so good. Any dilt tarantula hawk wasp searches the ground for a tarantula. They are not hard to find, they are literally everywhere outside right now. Here is a video of my sister doing battle with one. It was. It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! You underestimate my power! Don't try it! Don't try it! <laughs> yeah. When the wasp finds itself a tarantula, it forms a bond of friendship with it, sometimes lasting months or even years before their inevitable betrayal. It paralyzes the spider with its loser sting, and then drags it away into a portal to the underworld. It then performs a dark magic ritual upon it, resulting in an egg. Uh, does, doesn't anyone in this house knock? This egg then hatches into a capillary, which is a squishy little lava-like creature, not at all to be confused with caterpillars, which are very thin blood vessels within your body. This capillary then rips out the spider's soul through its kneecaps and feasts upon it as a first meal. It then shrouds itself in a cloak of pure hatred and evolves into its final form, clawing its way to the surface world so that this beautiful process can begin anew. These are all the facts I can share about the tarantula hawk wasps at the moment because if they find out I have been sharing too many of their secrets, they will find me and I will be banished to the northern wastelands for all eternity. This has been a sheepy nature documentary. <laughs>